And usually those type of products, when you put that moisturizer to seal it in, chef kiss. Hi everyone, welcome back. Or if this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Dr. Uwa, your favorite pharmacist. And as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be talking about the five top things I look for when I'm picking my skincare products. So let's dive right into it. So firstly, I look at the presentation of the product. I prefer products that are well packaged and easy to use. Ooh, this is nice. Now, I'm very aware that sometimes things that are not well packaged have some really good products. So that doesn't always mean that, it's, um, that it eliminates that product as an option, but it's just something to consider. I love a good packaging, um, a pump when it needs to be a pump, a jar when it needs to be a jar. So the second thing that I look for in my skincare products would be in the ingredient. And I look at the ingredient list on my products. Are the ingredients on the list going to cater to what I'm needing for my skin? What's in the sauce? Ingredients. He made it himself. Yeah, excellent. Excellent. It's awesome. Being that I'm oily, dry, combination. Is there certain ingredients that I'm looking for for humectants, for emollients, things that will cater to my skin, to my healthy skincare regimen? And so depending on what I'm needing, if I have hyperpigmentation, if I have texture, if I'm having acne, breakouts, if I have dry, eczema skin, there are certain ingredients that you wanna be looking for that caters to your skin type and what conditions your skin is going through and what condition your skin is in. So that is very important. And then I'm also looking for ingredients like antioxidants. A lot of the ingredients that we need in our skin, antioxidants are very important for daily use on our skin. So I love products that have antioxidants, that um, nourish the skin, not just sit on top of the skin. So that are, those are things that I look for. Thirdly, what I'm looking for in my skincare product is the smell. Um, does it have a certain smell? Um, me personally, I prefer my me personally, I prefer my products to be scentless, I have no scent, no fragrance. I have a lot of allergies when it comes to my eyes, my nose, all of my allergies. Sometimes, even if it smells good or even if it's faint, my eyes will start burning or I have certain sensitivities. So I prefer fragrance free, especially when it comes to my face. Now, when it comes to my body, not much, not really. Depending on what you prefer and what your skin can take, those are things you want to consider because these are things that will help you to be consistent because the product may be really good, but if it stinks or if it irritates your eyes or if it just doesn't sit well with you somehow, some way. Do you smell it? That smell. What kind of smell? then that's just a chance that you're probably not gonna keep using the product. <laughs> I like to look at the smell. I like to look if it is fragrance free. Um, if there is fragrance, what kind of fragrance? Is it um, the synthetic fragrances or is it the essential oils or whatever it is? I just like to know what is going on in there. It's good to know what's in your product so if you do have any reactions, you know what your product contained so that for any other products in the future, you're able to stay away from those. So moving on to the fourth thing that I look for in my skincare products, the skin feel. So I love, you know, when the texture of a product is just perfect and it sinks into the skin nicely. It doesn't clump up or um, peel. I hate when stuff peels, even though sometimes that happens when, especially if you're using other products that, you know, might be outside of different um, companies. So sometimes that does happen, but I prefer that they don't. So when I'm looking at the texture, how it feels on my skin, if it makes me hot, sometimes when you rub certain lotions or body lotions, for some reason it makes you sweat or if it doesn't absorb well and it has like that soapy feeling, like a moisturizer, like if that soapy where it doesn't rub in very well, anything like that, just the way the skin feels after it's been rubbed in, after it has settled in is good. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Are you feeling it? I'm feeling it, SpongeBob. Patrick, that's not a ride. I mainly consider those for the moisturizers, 
um, mainly. For me, stickiness, when it comes to like serums and toners, I don't mind because the whole point of those things, especially if it's one that has humectants and it's supposed to be hydrating your skin, humectants drawing moisture, sometimes it does leave it a little sticky, but once you put on your moisturizer, then you should be fine. And usually those type of products, when you put that moisturizer to seal it in, chef kit. Number five, the fifth and final thing that I look at when it comes to my skincare products is the price. The price is where, you know, it all comes down to the price. What did it cost? Everything. Everything that I've listed, the ingredients, the packaging, the smell, the skin feel, it all comes down to how much am I willing to pay for all of the things that this product is claiming and offers, that claims to do, and then what it offers me. Is it worth it? Sometimes you may not know the answer to that question until after you've used the product, most of the time, right? Depending on what is in the product, you may just see if it's worth it for you. So yes, pricing, pricing, pricing. And that's the thing, sometimes there's higher end brands that have higher pricings, uh, a lot more premium quality, qual premium and quality ingredients. And you have lower end um, brands that may not have as many ingredients going on, but their products still work very well and they have a lot to offer. So depending on what your budget is, then that is where you want to make sure you consider the price so that you are able to stay consistent with your skincare routine and your skincare regimen. Those are things you want to consider when you're building your skincare routine and those are things that I look at when I'm evaluating a product. So thanks again for watching. This is Dr. Uwa. If you found anything here helpful, that is great. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. If you just want to leave a comment, leave a suggestion, please leave that down below and I'll be sure to get back to you all. So let's chat.